okay so we're in st croix and the whole time you know he's real standoffish don't really want to participate in the group activities not really talking to people just looking staring looking weird um even at night you know i tried to go in the bathroom you know have a little fun with him and he was just like no i'm like okay so at that point we end up going back to the airbnb we end up getting an alert because it was COVID, so they were end up shutting their island down. So we we're either going to be stuck on St. Croix, which is in St. Thomas, or we had to fly back home immediately. So we flew back home. Once we got back home, you know, he ended up telling me like, hey, I felt kind of weird. Like, I don't know if you and old boy had something going on which was my friend's boyfriend at the time. So I'm thinking, what? He's like, y'all just too friendly and y'all talking and laughing and yada, yada, yada. But everybody was in a whole group conversation. So I had just put that, like, whatever. Like, why are you tripping? So we was about to fly back home, but we end up having a layover in Miami. And we decided to say, hey, like, there's nothing to do anyway. Like, let's just stay in Miami. And even though Miami Beach was closed, so... At that time, it was like a Airbnb on, like one Airbnb available on Miami Beach, which they wasn't even supposed to be open. It was cheap, like twenty dollars a night, and we were staying there. Um, we was getting food. We was still learning. I think I had made another store at that point. Um, it was called like Snag and Grab, and I had found a nurse bracelet that I thought was perfect to sell because at the time nurses was you know in front lines and on demand so people were going to want to buy their nurse relatives family and friends a nurse bracelet so one of these courses I watched was like a hack where you put it for free but you charge for shipping so I had did that and boom we were making even more money so now at this point we have two stores um active so that timeline that was for the month of april 2020 so boom after miami we stayed there we end up getting kicked out by the police because the person that was operating the airbnb was also not going by the rules so they put us out so we end up just flying back or i think we drove back home because we were just like whatever wherever the wind takes us you know we're making money like i'm getting paid from work he has his own business and we're making money together so why not we both were go with the flow type of people and once we came back at some point i can't remember why but we he asked me to come meet his mom and come like to this bar where his auntie worked at so we went to this bar y'all right and his mom was there i'm like oh hi you know i introduced myself y'all this should have been the biggest red flag she was so effing weird and rude but he told me that on the way like my mom she come off as this way but she not really this way she just been through a lot da 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 you know backstory you know while we headed there he was telling me like you know she was on drugs when i was younger and this and that like i used i lived with my dad when i was like up until two years old or seven years old or something like that he lived with his mom his dad his mom lost custody of him because of the drugs that she was on and yada 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 his dad was this terrible person too he don't really mess with them no one believed in him he was always had his head down you know working this and that i asked questions but not enough because we was on the way to the bar so when we was there right we sitting there so we drinking everybody drinking she kept like bumping me then kept calling me different names, Kyla, Keila, this, anything with Kayla. And I looked at her like, it's Kayla. So I told him, like, I'm a grown-ass woman. Like, your mama keep fucking with me, like, and playing with me. I'm gonna, you know, say something. But I didn't. I didn't. I think I ended up leaving and getting in my car about to leave. And he was like, what the fuck? Like, you messing this up? Da, da, da. I'm like, yo mama rude as fuck. Like, I'm not about to deal with this. <laughs> So then, yeah, fast forward, like, I think that month, like, I started asking him more questions about his family, but it was just all, like, I don't get along with him, them, like, they did some stuff when I was younger, you know, basically saying that childhood traumas, you know, generational curses, like, from his uncle's generation to his family's to this and to that, it just trickled down on him that he dealt with stuff that his dad had that they never resolved from, like, their fam, like, his brothers and sisters and then i was on them and they cousins so and i was just thinking y'all never no red flags the whole time i was thinking oh i feel so bad like why <laughs> you know like i think it's because 
I root for the underdog because I'm the underdog. Like, I'm from the worst area code in Detroit, Michigan, okay? But I got it out the mud, so it was really no excuse for him. But I was like, listen, like, it's okay. Like, you got something. I believe it because look at me. I'm, I'm listening to you, so let's get this shit popping. So then we went to, it was, now it's May. And we decided to go to Atlanta for some reason. I really don't remember why. Atlanta. My friend Bella, she lives in Atlanta. And when I went out there, she really wanted me to braid her hair. Mind you, I have a natural talent for doing hair, braiding hair. I hadn't braided hair in years. I just guess, you know, life catches up with you. So we go out to Atlanta and I braid my girl's hair. So knotless braids, y'all know them trending or whatever. So braid her knotless braids and then boom, y'all, I'm back back braiding hair okay i posted a video after that video i have friends facebook people like oh you braid da, da, da. so boom i'm a hairstylist again so i'm doing hair i'm doing hair full time getting money um uh drop shipping products i'm still in a three month span of my leave so i'm making money from work because i was salary and then i am doing these drop shipping stores so um as i'm working so much you know we really didn't really have time for an intimate relationship for like as intimate as a relationship used to look to me because we were putting focus on legacy and trying to break generational curses over having sex so i really can count on a hand like one hand the time the amount of times that we had sex opposed to how much we worked so i was actually trying to do my llc i was trying to do um amazon we messed up amazon a few times because it was just things that we didn't know that we were trying to hurry up and make money before actually sitting down and knowing the process processes that took place so i'm continuing to braid here i got an llc for that i'm making content i'm you know making videos just to keep my customers coming so from april may when i started back doing hair june july is when I was really going hard, like five clients a day, y'all, knotless braids, banging them out. I wanted to take a vacation. I asked him, hey, let's take a trip. He said, what I'm taking a trip for? What is there to celebrate? I don't need to celebrate. Y'all going, wasting time, doing this, da, 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 da. I said, okay, whatever. So, you know, we're two separate people. We have separate lives. You don't want to go, don't go. I'm going on vacation with my friends. Me and my friends go to Cancun just to get away, have some good times. The world's been shut down. So we go on a trip. Mind you, the whole time, I'm pretty buzzed on, you know, Cancun trip. I don't know what possessed me to ask him to go on my computer and get something. I asked him to check my computer for an email, something that I was trying to do while I was out there because, you know, I was trying to be responsible and say, I was still going to work. I'm going to work on a store because he was really like a judgmental person. Like he, he's very determined. He has a lot of ambition and drive. So to other people, he tries to make it seem like, oh, you're wasting your time. What are you doing? Like you're laughing. Why are you laughing? Like there's nothing to laugh about you have a million dollars like have you made it are you successful as me are you this are you that so i think i was trying to say like i was working on my phone but when i gave him the password to my computer y'all i'm the type of person that i don't hide anything all my things are connected my phone my i watch my all of this right he went into my instagram went through the dms and got upset because i was having conversations with friends guys that are my friends that like me of course because what guys don't like women and just made it a whole thing that i was cheating that i was this that was that ruin my little rest of my days of my trip because i'm like dang what like i'm not even cheating they're doing nothing and honestly to truth like i was pleading with that for so long when i could have just said listen we don't need to be together like we don't like the same things we do have a successful business together like hey let's just ha be business partners but the crazy thing is I did say that. I just didn't stick to it. I just didn't stick on my intuition because I thought that we were supposed to be together because we created a great business.